Welcome to Dynamo using Python, how to apply view templates to views. So I want to apply a view template to both these views um, here. And they're both structural engineering plans. So what I want to do is use the engineering plan type and grab all the views that are available, which are two. Then I'm going to use the Python node to write my Python. So I'm using Visual Studios here. Um, but I'll just copy and paste this over. You can use any text editor. So the first thing I want to do is um, use, import the CLR, add the CLR reference, Revit Services. Um, and then from um, Revit Services, I'm just going to import from Revit Services the persistent um, and then import the document manager. Um, and then from Revit Services, um, I'll import the transaction. Uh, import transaction. This will allow me to grab the document and also do um, modify it. So I'll go ahead and add the Revit API. So CLR, add references, Revit API. Um, and then from Autodesk, I'll just go ahead and grab Revit, uh, the database, and I'll just go ahead and import everything. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to grab the document which I'm working with. So I'll grab from the document manager at the instance of the current database document and it'll send me the document. Um, so I sent in the view template uh, as a string. Um, so that'll be the first in that I, uh, that I take. So it'll be the first one here. And then I took in the views. So there are multiple views. So what I want to do is I want to unwrap them. So I'm going to create an empty array list. Uh, to grab the unwrapped one. So I'll just call for i in, uh, in the in that I sent in, which was the very first one, which was zero. Um, I want to iterate over it and I'll grab the views. Um, so I'm going to append these to the empty list and I'll just go ahead and unwrap everything. So I'll iterate and unwrap them. So here I'll unwrap the i. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to start my transaction with Revit so that I can apply, apply the view template. Uh, so I want to do a transaction manager and I want to do the instance and I want to do the ensure um, in transaction. I'll go ahead and send in the document. So this is the view class. It's the base class for all types of views in Revit. So I'll just use a filter element collector and this will let me iterate over it to find the view templates and get their IDs. So what I'll do is I'll get a collector. So I'll do filter element collector and I'll just collect everything in the document. And I'll go ahead and get of class and then I want to get views. Um, capital V. Or view. For each um, I in the collector, so for each view in the collector, what I want to do is if I is a is a template, so if the view is a template or a view template, um, and that is that is true, um, and if the view name is the same as the string of the view template that I that I sent in then I want to grab that view. So once I grab that view, I want to set the temp, uh, set a temporary temporary view. Um, so the I sets a view temp. So now what I want to do is I want to iterate over the views that I had sent in. So for each view, which I'm calling I, in the views, I want to grab the dot view template ID, and this will allow me to set the view template to the to the view. Um, so I'll go ahead and set the set the temp, and I'll make sure that both of them correspond by sending the ID of the view template um, back to the view template um, the views view template ID. So 
And the very last thing I want to do is make sure that the transaction is committed. So what I'll do is transaction manager instance transaction test done. Uh, and then I'll just go ahead and send out the views in case um, I would like to do an additional additional work with them. Um, so let's code a little cleanup here. It looks like I made a mistake there. Let's double check. Uh, oh yeah, assigning not 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 trying to compare it. So one equal equals assigning. So here here we'll just double click. I'll bring over this empty box here. I just paste that there. Uh, wire up the um, structural uh, plan, and then my view template string, uh, and hit run. And it, it very quick here. It assigned the view template to that one, and the view template to the other one. Um, anyways, that's how easy it is. For uh, more Revit API videos, please subscribe. Thank you.